old black and white photos are often sepia toned. And this can make them very yellowish or reddish in appearance. With the help of a black and white adjustment layer, we can turn these images back into black and white without destroying any of the originally scanned pixels. Let's have a look. To add a black and white adjustment layer, first ensure that you can see the adjustments panel and the layers panel. Both can be accessed and displayed by going to the window menu if needed. The adjustments panel contains a number of adjustments that we can select. And so how do you know what these little icons actually do? When you hover over each of the adjustment buttons, the top left corner will display what type of adjustment you are looking at. The black and white adjustment is this one right here. Click the black and white adjustment button in the adjustment panel. Photoshop automatically applies a default adjustments to black and white and it opens the properties panel from which you can make further adjustments. You can use this as a starting point or you can click on auto and use this as a starting point and make additional minor adjustments as needed either by selecting the sliders or if you want to change a specific area in your image and make it lighter or darker shades of grey, you can use the on image adjustment tool. Click the tool in the properties panel to activate it. You can now place your cursor anywhere over the image and either drag to the left to make your tonal ranges darker. And I'll just undo that. Or drag to the right and make certain tonal ranges lighter. You might find that as you go through the process of converting your image back into black and white, that you need to add more than one black and white adjustment layer. Finish making your tonal adjustments as you require within your image. And once you're happy with your black and white result, you can go off and save your image and continue maybe with some other work that you want to do on this particular photo. Yeah. Uh -huh.